welcome back to my channel. So today is Thursday, y'all already know what that means. That means I'm coming at you guys with another story time. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, <laughs> this story time is going to be the story about my prom, okay? Some of y'all might remember, some of y'all might not. This is for the OG Amazons. but last year I tried to tell this story and for some reason the universe just was not having it, okay? Like lights were breaking, memory cards were not working, batteries were getting drained. Like, so I decided against it and here we are a year later and I'm going to try it again for you guys. But I'm going to be real honest with y'all. Number one, I'm a little nervous to tell this story because it is just so cringy. Like I seriously, I like gave David like a synopsis of what happened and like you guys, I couldn't even get through it without like just cringing and just being like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. As I was going over the story in my head and what happened, I realized that this is a pretty long ass story. So because of that, this will be a two-parter. So if you guys are interested in hearing my cringy ass prom story, y'all know that like shit can never be normal for me, then please keep on watching. <laughs> As usual, before we get into today's story time, today's glamour shot of the day is my beautiful, amazing Glamazon Marta. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but she looks gorgeous. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. You guys don't know how much that means to me. I would not be here without you guys. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Now let's get into the story time. First of all, do you guys remember the couple that I talked about during my last story time where I like knew her side piece? If you haven't watched that video, I will link it down below and leave it right here. You might want to watch it because then you'll get to know them and they are a part of the story time. They went to prom with us. I named them Will and Sandra. They're going to be a part of the story as well, just letting you guys know. So, this story takes place when I was 17 years old, obviously. Now, at this point, I had not been to any high school dances, either because I was moving or a lot of times, especially when I was at my shitty, shitty school, I was not trying to play it, okay? I did not want to go to my homecoming. I was a freshman and sophomore at my shitty, shitty school, so prom wasn't really, you know, an option for me, but... Um, even if I would have gotten invited, I would not have gone. Like, it just was too much drama, okay? So by this point, I'm at my fourth and final high school. I'm 17 years old. I had not been to a school dance yet. At this point, Robert and I were already together, but we had only been together, I would say, like three months at this point. And as most of you guys know, when I was a junior, he was a senior. So this was his senior prom. Robert's funky ass was obviously getting ready to graduate and stuff. And, you know, this dance was basically going to be like our final high school event together. So, so I really, really wanted to go. Obviously, he asked me to prom. By the way, it wasn't like cute the way he asked me. It was just like, in passing like obviously you're my girlfriend do you want to go meanwhile you got all these other girls getting post-its all over their cars and like big old poster boards and stuff made by the dudes and so like I was a little jelly belly about that but he asked me to prom and most of you guys know my mom did not like Robert's funky ass. From the beginning, she just did not. There was something about him. By this point, she knew that Robert's funky ass existed. She knew that I was talking to him. And like I had said in my previous video, this was like in the middle of my rebellious stage. I was kind of at that point where I was like, I'm not going to be told what to do. Like, I'm almost grown. I want to be with this guy. It caused my mom and I to fight quite a bit because I was like not willing to stop talking to him and like any other guy that she would find out about like that I was talking to you know it really wasn't a big deal I was not about to get in trouble for just some random dude but with Robert I don't know what was wrong with me but like I was not I was I just wasn't listening and like that was like the one and only time that I was like no like I want to be with him like this is what I want to do I don't care ground me all you want to I don't care so like I was being super super hard-headed okay I had this terrible tendency and I didn't realize it until I got older but my mom used to tell me all the time stop lying to me she used to be like if you would just come to me and be real with me and tell me what it is that you want to do but the fact that you go behind my back and then you lie to me about it is like a problem and then I'm not gonna want to let you do what you want to do because you're just lying to me I was coming up with my own conclusions about how my mom would react or whatever so basically in a nutshell I ruined it for myself and I remember I forgot how, I forgot what the context was, but I just know that somehow, some way, my mom found out that I was like talking to Robert, okay? My mom being a parent, she pulled the card that she had and that was prom. And she was like, you know, we were in the middle of an argument and she was like, you know what, you don't want to listen, you're not paying attention in school, like you're lying to me, you're going behind my back. 
whatever, whatever, you're not going to prom. I want to say that it was like a month before prom that like she was like, no, you're not going. Like you're being crazy. Like you're not listening. You're not paying attention in school. Like this is a problem. You're not going. And so you guys, I was pissed. My mom had told me that I wasn't going to go to prom. So like how embarrassing, you know? And so like I went to school and I was like crying and it was such a big deal. And I told Robert and I was like, you know, I know that this is your senior prom, but like I can't go. My mom's not going to let me go and like blah, blah, blah. And so it was like this huge thing, right? And he was pretty upset about it. And he was like, well, what the hell? Like I didn't want to stop him from going to his prom, obviously. So I was like, you know, you do you. I'm sorry. I can't go, right? So fast forward a few weeks and prom is coming up and I keep bringing it up to my mom just hoping and praying. You know how like when your parents punish you and you're like maybe if I'm like super nice, maybe if I get on the ball, maybe they'll change their mind kind of thing. So that's what I was doing. I was trying to like do damage control and I kept going around my mom and I was like mom please can I go to prom? She was like no you can't. Like I think my grades were slipping or something and so she was like sticking to her gun. She was like you're not going Nikki. Like it's, it's not up for discussion. Like the way you've been acting and like your grades have been slipping. No homegirl. Like no. It's a no. Meanwhile I'm still talking to Alicia right and she has her prom going on at our shitty shitty school because she obviously still goes there. And so I remember her and I texting and she was like, yeah, I'm not going to my prom. And I was like, why? And she was like, because she was like, you know how the dances are here? Like just too much drama, too many females fighting. Like absolutely not. I don't want to go. She was like telling me that to make me feel better. Like, hey, if you don't go, I'm not going either to my prom. So like, we'll just chill together. I was like a week before, right? Fast forward, you guys, I'm not even kidding. I'm not exaggerating. It was the day before prom the day before prom okay so prom was like on saturday right that friday right before prom that morning my parents talked to me in the kitchen before like we left for the day and i was going to school and they were going to work i was like having breakfast or whatever and your mom and i talked last night and you know you haven't been doing what you're supposed to do you haven't been taking care of your responsibilities like you've been really disrespectful and like you know giving me that whole spiel or whatever and he was like, but you're a good kid. I know that you're doing this because you want what you want and I get that, but you have to go about it a different way. He was like, your mom and I talked about it for a really long time last night. We were up very late talking about this. And we both decided that we're gonna allow you to go to prom but there are gonna be some rules in place. My mom's just sitting there like, yeah, you can go. Like, you know, I'm not here to try to make your life miserable, Nikki. Like, I know that you and I aren't getting along right now, but like, I love you and you're my daughter and I want you to be happy. I just want you to be responsible and I have to trust you. You guys, it's the day before prom. Like, oh my God, right? First question was, well, you know, can I go with Robert? And, you know, I looked at my mom and I was like, Mom, you know, does that mean that I get to go with Robert? Because, you know, I really wanna go with him. This is his senior prom. And she goes, you know, I wish you would have come to me like this before instead of trying to lie to me about it or whatever. She goes, I don't have a problem with you going with him. And I was like, what? And she was like, I don't have a problem with you going with him. She was like, I just wanted you to pay attention in school and for him not to be like your end all and be all and everything that you're focused on. You want to go with Robert? Fine. She was like, but there will be rules in place and you will have a curfew. Y'all, my whole life was made. Okay, so all of a sudden, a day before, literally, I wish I was making this up. That day, I go to school and like, I like the first thing I do is beeline it to Robert. And so like, I meet him at his locker and I'm so excited. I'm like, hey, guess who gets to go to pro? and he was like what and he was like so confused and he was like you can go and I was like yeah and he was like with me and I was like yes like my mom said yes I was like you know she got rules and stuff I said but you know I could go and he was like oh my god he was like well shit like we gotta buy your prom ticket and like whatever and he had already picked out his suit and he was like babe like I wish I would have known like I would have done like the color coordinating or whatever and I was like no it's fine I haven't found my dress yet just tell me what color you pick for your tux and I'll just get a dress in the same color so like we did things opposite usually the girl picks but like I didn't have that luxury okay and then he tells me that he picked out a red and black suit and that day after school my parents were going to take me to go find a prom dress last minute we were going to plan like the before prom dinner and then the after prom which was going to be at dave and buster's and so he was like you know we got to plan all that for how we're going to get there and stuff and i was like okay so he was going to talk to his mom after school meanwhile i was going to go with my parents after school and go look for my dress like everything was just happening so so fast right during school i had texted alicia 
And like obviously, you know, she and I had planned on chilling that Saturday because neither one of us were going to prom. I break the news to her and she was like, wait, hold up. She was like, you're going to prom? And I was like, yeah. She was like, I don't want to go to my prom like at all. She was like, but can I come to yours? And I was like, hell yeah, girl. So you know how like you can invite at least one person from another school to your prom, right? So I was like, hell yeah, girl, you can be my guest or whatever. So I went and I bought her her prom ticket right so here's Alicia she's going last minute to go buy her dress or whatever and like she's telling her dad everything's happening last minute and all of us are trying to like figure it out and it's such a mess and oh my god and she needs to find her dress I need to find mine like oh my god so after school comes around and at this time both of my parents worked downtown okay like literally in the heart of downtown and they just like worked in separate places and my mom for some reason had to work late so she called me and she's like hey you know, I would really love to be there, but like I'm stuck at work. She was like, so your stepdad is going to take you to go buy your prom dress. And I was like, wait, what? And she was like, yeah, you know, she's like, I'm so sorry that I can't be there. So he called me and he was like, hey, you know, why don't you meet me at this Starbucks out on the 16th Street Mall? Okay, y'all remember like that's where, you know, my old stomping ground. So he was like, meet me at this Starbucks on the 16th Street Mall and then we'll stop at a few places. So there are a bunch of stores. It's literally like a mall and there are like some boutiques and stuff and it was prom season so he was like we'll just like go on foot and go to these different stores and try to find you a dress and i was like okay this was like so out of the ordinary and just like so weird like i'm gonna go prom dress shopping with my stepdad you know stopped at two stores and either my size was completely sold out because like prom was literally the next day like you know like everybody had already gone shopping and either my size was sold out or the dresses were just like beyond expensive so like it was out of our price range or they didn't have my size or I didn't like the style so like you guys I was freaking out because I could not find a prom dress meanwhile Alicia's texting me and she's like I don't know what kind of prom dress I'm getting or whatever what color are you wearing and I was like girl I don't know at this point because I can't seem to find a prom dress or whatever I can't seem to find one that I like my stepdad he was like look I know about one more place he was like I had taken Ariel there for her continuation dress he was like I don't know if the boutique is still there but we can go look and see right so like this was like our last stop that we were going to look at to possibly find my dress so we go to like the furthest end of the mall at this boutique that i've never seen before like i've never stepped foot in now i'm going in there fingers crossed it was like empty and i was like oh my god this is not a good sign like who's shopping here like did anybody even want to shop here and it was just like nothing but dresses so they had one side of the store was dresses and then the other side of the store was shoes one of the girls you know that worked there she came up to me and she's like hey you know can I help you and I was like yeah you know I have my prom and she was like oh okay she was like well when is it and I was like it's tomorrow and she was like oh okay like you really get the late start on it. So I feel like she could tell that I was like freaking out. And I was like, it's tomorrow. Like, I I'm going to need you to work some magic girl because I need a dress. I literally start vomiting at the mouth. And I'm like, look, it's tomorrow. And I've tried two other places. And they don't have my size or it's too expensive or whatever. And I can't find my dress. And so, like, I'm just, like, having this meltdown, right? And she was like, hey, it's all right. She was like, why don't we just look through our racks and see if there's anything you like. And I was like, okay. So she starts pulling dresses, right? And a lot of them are all black dresses. And I was like, like, you know, I just feel like obviously like he's wearing red. Like I, I want some sort of red in my dress. And she was like, okay. So meanwhile, my stepdad's like making his rounds around the store. And you just see him like looking through the racks. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like as if you're going to find anything, you know? Out of nowhere, my stepdad comes up to me and he has this dress. Now keep in mind, okay, first of all, this was back in 2009, okay? I'm just going to say that right now because it is not the same as prom now. Prom now, you would think that these girls are like going to a red carpet event. It was not like that back then. Back then for prom, all you're worried about is whether or not you can walk in your heels, much less trying to get a floor length gown that looks like it's made for like the Oscars or something. So let's just get that out the way, all right? The top of it has like black and white polka dots. I hope I'm remembering this right. I have to look at the picture but it's like black and white polka dots up here and then it has a red sash with a bow in the back and then the bottom is black and it's like knee length and so it was like a shorter dress and it was strapless if I'm remembering correctly and so it was just like a 
cute little dress, but it had all of the elements that I was looking for. It was red and black, it was in my size, it wasn't too expensive. At this point, you guys, I felt like I couldn't really be that picky. Like, if this worked, it worked. It was exactly what I was looking for. Like, it's not that expensive. It's in my size. Like, let's just try it on, right? I see it and I'm like, oh my God, like you found something, right? In the midst of like nothing. And so like, I was like, oh my God. And he was like, what do you think about this? And I did not, I didn't hate it. So there was something to be said about that. So the employer was like, okay, so we might have a dress. She was like, why don't we look at shoes? Do you have shoes? And I was like, no. And so she takes me over to their wall of shoes and like we start picking out some shoes, right? And she picks out like these all black shoes and like they have like these little pearls on them to kind of match the polka dot shit on it. These shoes you guys were like legit like five inches tall. I was not the type to wear heels at all in high school. Like not at all. I wore Jordans almost every day. I was that girl. Okay like sweats and Jordans. Like, I didn't know how to walk in heels at all. But prom is a very special occasion so I would give it a try. Okay. She goes and gets my size in these shoes and she wants me to like try on the dress and the shoes at the same time so we can get like a full visual what this ensemble will look like right gets me a dressing room and I try on the dress the dress fits perfect <laughs> it wasn't like a sexy dress at all okay and it wasn't like any sort of you guys it was an ugly ass dress ugly as fuck like I look back and I'm like why I'm gonna show you guys a photo at the end of this series um so just wait for it but like I'm going to be real, real with you right now. It was an ugly dress. And then I tried on the shoes. And you guys, the shoes were so high. But, like, they made my legs look good. And, like, I was like, yes. And I was, like, starting to feel myself, right? I remember strapping on the shoes. And, like, I'm still in the dressing room. And, like, I get up. And I just feel like I'm walking on stilts. Like, I just feel very uneasy. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just work through it. So I come out of the dressing room. My stepdad is sitting right there. And he's like, oh. And he was like, you know, I really like that. I like got a little too confident, okay? And I started trying to walk the way that I normally walk. The other employees are like looking like, oh, that's cute. And like they get their little two cents or whatever. That's what happened, okay? So I come out of the dressing room and you got like the employee that's helping me and then like two other girls at the cash register. They're like, oh my God, I really like that or whatever. And then my stepdad. So like I got a little confident. I started feeling myself. And I had to like round this small corner to like get in front of this mirror. I went to go walk in them shoes. Oh, I took two steps and said whoop and just like I fell. Y'all, I fell so ugly. Like I fell. It was that type of fall where like you feel yourself falling but you can't seem to stop it. It's like you're falling in slow motion. Like that's how it was. It was such an ugly, ridiculous fall. I'm like sprawled out on the floor and I'm just like, oh. Like, and this is like a short dress and so like it was just like. Y'all, I wanted to die of embarrassment. It was so bad. So here comes the employee and she's like, she runs and she's like trying to help me. My stepdad like jumps up. He's like, Nikki, are you okay? And I was like, I'm fine. So like she gets me up and y'all like, I'm like standing there and like legit like my legs are like doing one of these. Like I can't seem to find my balance in these heels. The employee was like, okay, well maybe we should probably rethink the heel choice. We decided against the shoes. My stepdad buys the dress for me. Me, they put it in like the garment bag or whatever and I'm one step closer to getting to prom right I remember texting Robert and being like hey I got my dress it's black and red blah 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 it's gonna match perfectly or whatever his end he was working with his mom to, to talk about like transportation how we were gonna get to prom or whatever I never told y'all the rules okay so the rules for prom, for me to go to prom, was that number one, my mom wanted Robert's mom to like basically chaperone us and like drive us there and back. She wanted to make sure that no funny shit was going on and that there was a parent around in the interim. The second rule was that I had to be home by midnight, like no later. Like she did not want me out past midnight. And she was like, I know that that's early for prom, but like, well, you lucky I'm even letting you go. So Robert told me that Will and Sam Sandra wanted to go with us and so like obviously you know I knew them pretty well by this point and so they were gonna ride with us and then Alicia was gonna ride with us too so once I found out that Will and Sandra were coming I kind of felt bad because I was like it's gonna be me and Robert and then Will and Sandra and then my girl Alicia like by herself Alicia was one of those people where she was super independent like she really did not care about dates or like having someone to go with she was like whatever Alicia just didn't have patience like I don't know how else to say it she just did not like 
like a whole lot of dudes. Like, look, Nikki, I understand why you want me to have a date, but like, I am not going with anybody from here at my school. She was like, so if you can find me somebody to go with me last minute and like, you know, then meet my criteria, then by all means, but like, understand that I don't care. Like, I'm fine with going by myself. I know that she didn't care, but I cared. Like, I didn't want her just to be by herself in her prom pictures, you know? Like, I don't know. So I start texting Robert. So like, all this is going on. Like, we're still trying to figure everything out. But hey, you know, my girl Alicia's coming, you know, my best friend from my other school. And he was like, yeah. And he was like, is she riding with us? And I was like, yeah, you know, she's gonna come with me. Like, but she doesn't have a date. And he was like, oh. And so like, we start talking about it. I was like do you have anybody that you think would like want to go with her he's like I mean I guess I can check around and see if all my homeboys like have somebody to go with and I was like okay so he takes that on right meanwhile I go back home my mom comes home like an hour later I show her the dress she's like oh Miha. she's like oh that's cute or whatever but I'm home now we need to go shopping to go get your accessories and to go get your shoes and I was like okay she's like we need to figure out a place that we can get your nails done in the morning and get your hair done right once my mom like made the decision to let me go she was so excited she was like I've been wanting to do this for you I just needed you to act right you go find some shoes that I can actually walk in and they match my dress or whatever they got like a little bow on top to match a little bow in the back but that's the thing I was I feel like that's the difference I was trying to be cute like legitimately I was trying to be cute I, I feel like girls nowadays be trying to be sexy and I just knew I knew that I was not sexy I was cute okay anytime that I'm gonna be like at a dance or at, in like a really hot environment understand that I have a very hard time with my hair getting frizzy so if like we're gonna be dancing and jumping around and sweating my best bet is to not wear my hair down because by the end of the night you guys it would get so bad like frizzy hot mess like all over the place bad I just didn't know how to handle my hair I knew that I wanted to at least have part of my hair up mom found this cute like headband and it had rhinestones on it and she was like maybe we could do like a half up half down situation with like a little headband in there or whatever I'm telling you guys like in comparison I've been looking at some of y'all's prom photos and y'all legit look so good I'm not hating on y'all what I'm saying is that I was not I was not that fashion forward like I was getting excited about a headband okay meanwhile my phone's going off and Robert was texting me and he goes hey I think I may have found somebody that wants to go with Alicia and I was like what who our friend Chris and I had to sit there and I was like Chris so we had this friend Chris one thing about him that I remember was that he was just so funny like he was one of those kids that like did not take anything seriously he was super funny and he was really cute you guys like he was not ugly at all oh my god yes and I was like that he perfect I was like wait a minute he doesn't have a date and Robert was like he had a date but like him and his girl had been on and off on and off and like he's sick of her so he said that he'd be willing to go with Alicia keep in mind they have never laid eyes on each other but we're like basically playing Cupid and like playing matchmaker we're basically setting up a blind date for prom like that that's basically what we were doing so I immediately start texting Alicia and I'm like hey girl I think I found you a man's and she was like hold up and she was like details I need all the details she was like who is he you know what's he about what's his personality like or whatever right so she and I are texting back and forth and I'm like yeah it's my friend Chris he's really funny like I've known him since the beginning of the school year like you know he and I have hung out so many times and I think you'd like him a lot he's cute or whatever all right she goes I'm down she goes but I have one question for you how tall is he he and I hung out a lot during lunch but like I never really paid attention to his height so I was like, uh, so I didn't want to like be too far off. I text Robert and I was like, hey, I said, weird question. Do you know about how tall Chris is? And he texted me back. He was like, he's around 5'9". So I'm like being the middleman. So I text Alicia and I'm like, girl, he's like 5'9". She usually did not date guys under six feet tall. She was super self-conscious of her height. She felt like she was super tall. So like she didn't want some guy to like make her feel like a gargantuan. Like, she was like, that's not that bad. She was like, I could work with that. Robert and I are planning a blind date. He's figuring out the transportation. I've already got my dress, my accessories and my shoes. And, like my mom and I are figuring out my hair, my nails or whatever. And like everything's just coming together, right? So the next day comes around. I can barely sleep because I'm so excited. And I wake up in the morning, go to my hair appointment, I go get my nails done. Like I said, I've never been to a dance like this before, so this was like my first time experiencing all that. Alicia's dad brought her over to my house super, super early so that she and I could get ready together. And it was like 
the best time like honestly and so we had like music playing and we're getting ready for prom together and we're just like in my bathroom it takes us about a good three hours to get ready alicia was super tall so like she had this floor length dress on and it was yellow it looked so good on her and like she was very um blessed in this area so like it looks so good on her i remember time comes that like robert's on his way with his mom and i just can't even believe that this is happening and so he finally gets there and he i just remember he walked in the door and i'm like so nervous because like this is the first time we're seeing each other in like formal attire so like you know it's like super nerve-wracking and it's like that moment where like your your date sees you in your prom dress or whatever and you know he's in this suit or whatever and he had a single yellow rose in his hand in the moment i felt like it was super sweet because like robert did not do stuff like that um, he was not like the thoughtful type and so you know he brought me this rose Robert I don't know what it was but like Robert I guess didn't know proper etiquette for prom but like he did not get me a corsage I didn't have <laughs> he came at me with a single yellow rose okay why I don't know they start taking pictures of Robert and I some pictures with just me and Alicia and then there was like a few of like Alicia in the middle of Robert and I <laughs> At this point, Alicia had never met Robert, so like my bestie was meeting my boyfriend for the first time and she was like, hey, what's up? So walk us outside and my mom was like, you know, have so much fun, be safe, be careful, you know, the normal mom talk and she was like, please be here at midnight, like I don't want to be upset with you. And I was like, I know, I was like, I promise. And so Amy, she was like, don't worry, you know, I'll have your daughter home by midnight, don't even worry about it. Her SUV was one of those really big ones that had two rows of seats in the back. So you had like the passenger seat in the front, obviously and then there was like a one row of three seats and then another row of three seats it was like a huge SUV right go back to Robert's house and we don't even go inside of his house because Will and Sandra are already there and then we're just waiting on Chris right we spent like a good 10-15 minutes just out in the Sun just taking picture after picture after picture you know like it's prom like everybody wants pictures right Robert lived in a cul-de-sac and so we hear a car coming down the street and I was like oh my god that has to be Chris right he had his own car and so sure enough it's his little Honda and he you know he comes around and like Alicia was standing next to me she was like doing one of these and like she was like trying to look into the car and like see what he looked like and so he like drives through the cul-de-sac and you know he's got to like you know skirt skirt into a parking spot it looks through and she was like ooh, he looks cute Nikki she's like okay okay you know and I just see my girl getting all excited so I get all excited and I'm like I know right like I told you I would never do you like that girl you know I got you or whatever I may have just found my best friend's man okay like I may have just found the love of her life comes around the front of his car and he starts walking up the driveway I immediately see Alicia like tense up I keep like looking back and forth like at their expressions you know like yes this is love I know like this is about to be your new husband she looked over at me straight stone face and she was like Nikki what is that she was like I thought I made myself very clear and I was like what and so I was like what is happening and she was like didn't you tell me that this boy was 5'9"? Now keep in mind, he's like on his way up the driveway, okay? And here's my friend losing her shit. Yeah? And she was like, does he look 5'9 to you? I looked down at him and for some reason he was so much shorter than I remembered. Like, short. Like, a little bit taller than me, okay? And like, I just did not remember him being that short. And I was like, <gasps> and she was like, do you know that I have four inch heels on right now? I was like, it's not that big of a deal. She was like, it is a big deal. Keep in mind, this is my friend coming from our shitty, shitty school, okay? Now, our shitty, shitty school and my newer school are completely different. And, um, Alicia just gave no shits. Like, she was very bold up front and, like, she was just very transparent. Like, I don't know how else to put it. She's losing her mind. I was like, girl, I was like, it ain't that bad. And she was like, it is bad, Nikki. She's like, I look stupid right now. I look real dumb. And I was like, no, you don't. I was like, I didn't remember how tall he was. I was like, so I asked Robert. Robert told me he was 5'9". Here goes Alicia's loud ass. So she looks up past me. She was like, Robert. She was like, why are you over here lying about your friend? She went from octave one to octave like three or four. Like her voice got so loud. He ain't no 5'9". Does that look like 5'9"? to you and Robert like got all red and 
like I was like she has to be kidding right now there was not a lick of a joke on her face like she was not laughing I didn't know how tall he was so I texted him and asked him and he told me he was 5'9 she looks at Chris and she was like there was no hi, nice to meet you, how are you, I'm elite, nothing. She looked at him and she said, hey, Mr. 5'9". She was like, why are you lying about your height? I just remember her saying that over and over and she looked at him and she goes, you ain't no 5'9". Talk about your 5'9". You ain't no 5'9". She's like, she's doing all of this. She just starts losing all of her classiness all out the window. She was like, 5'9", my ass, you ain't no 5'9". She's like, don't even stand next to me. You're going to make me look like a damn giant. Literally cocked his head and he was like, hold up. He was like, are you being for real right now? She's like, yeah, I'm being for real right now. She's like, you see me in comparison to you? She's like, you're not even going to be able to get a fully picture of us. She's like, all my head is going to be out of the frame because you're so short. She's like, it ain't my fault that you like a damn NBA player up in here. And then you got the audacity to be wearing them heels right there. Y'all, it was a mess. And I was like, Alicia. And so like, I kept grabbing her. I was like, I know you are not acting like this. And she was like, I am not about to be embarrassed, Nikki. She was like, you don't understand it because you're like super short and cute or whatever. And it's like really not that big of a deal. She was like, but let me tell you something. <laughs> you're tall as fuck and then you got heels on and you expect that your date is gonna be this height so you get the heels appropriate for that height and then they're way shorter than that. She's like, do you know how dumb I'm gonna look in these pictures? Do you know how stupid I'm gonna look at prom? Walking in there with him. You know, we came from a very volatile high school. So Alicia had no problem like starting shit. Arguments were like an everyday thing. So like she had no problem being a part of this argument. This was like the norm for her. So Sandra, Will, and Robert, they're all looking at me sideways like, this is your friend. <laughs> Introducing my best friend. <laughs> Even though I felt like she was overreacting, like there really wasn't much that I could say because she just was like, you don't get it. Like none of you guys get it. The big thing was like, I would have prepared for this had like y'all been real with me and told me how short he was. Like that was like her big thing. So Chris decided that he was not going to be attending prom with Alicia. He was just going to meet us there. Um, so that was like super embarrassing and it was like a mess and um, everybody was like very awkward and it just kind of like made everybody very tense. And I was kind of annoyed with Alicia and I was like, I know you did not just act that way in front of all my new friends at my new school. Like, girl, this is not our shady shady school. You need to get it together. And she was just basically on that, like, Nikki, you don't understand what you're talking about because you've never gone through this. Like, it's super embarrassing. Although I didn't want my friend to have to go to prom by herself, she ended up having to go to prom by herself. This takes off, and now it's time for us to go to our prom dinner. So we were going to have dinner with all of our friends. And we were actually going to meet more of our friends at dinner. So we decided to go to Olive Garden, and it was like a party of like 15 of us, okay? And we get into a whole other like tense situation because some of Robert's friends and then their dates and like some of their dates didn't like me. They had like stank faces, and then Alicia noticed it, and she was like, who are these bitches? looking at you sideways and me sideways what they got something to say and so like you know <laughs> so that is it for the first part of my prom story time and trust and believe me that is not all the effery that happened that night that was just the beginning so definitely stay tuned for part two if you guys get this video to 20,000 likes I will put part two up a day early and I will have the story time up for you guys on Wednesday instead of Thursday of next week so definitely make sure you hit that huge like button and share with your friends and family that you think might enjoy it as well also if you are not already subscribe to my channel please don't forget to hit that huge subscribe button and while you're at it hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos including the part two to the story you guys don't want to miss it i'll see you guys all for part two of my cringy prom story uh you guys will decide whether it's up on wednesday or thursday but either way i will see you guys very very soon i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for coming and chilling with me for story time and i will see you guys all in my next video peace out